Hey Xander, happy Tuesday, I suppose. I'm off to work soon. I'm starting to get some more hours at Scooters, and so it's nice to be able to pay the rent and not have to worry about the immediate future. The other thing that I've been thinking about is the subject of my thread that you saw on Twitter, how it's been hard to connect with my faith right now. All of those issues are only compounded by the fact that I can't visit churches and connect with people in person at the moment. And so I've tried to make a conscious choice to reach out to churches and try to find communities however I can and connect with people so that I don't lose that. I'll let you know how that goes. Other than that, there hasn't been a ton that's new for me. I opened a bunch of days for scooters last week and that threw off my sleep schedule a bit, um, but I'm starting to get into a healthier pattern where I'm getting to bed at a decent time and getting out of bed before 11. I've been trying to do a lot more reading and writing I have been listening to an audiobook called The Witches Are Coming about seeing and taking down the patriarchy. I, of course, am starting to read The Kite Runner for Book Club, and I just bought a translation of Virgil's great epic poem, The Aeneid, from a bookstore last week, and I've been starting to read that. It's been really cool. And Steve Marr also recommended a few uh, books on faith for me. So I may be overextending myself a little bit on the reading front, but... It's better than the other way around. Overall, I'm still in this weird place where I'm stressed about life and politics and getting opportunities to socialize. But I also know that if I'm willing to put aside all the distractions on the internet every now and then, I can put real thought into my relationships, my values, and who I want to be in, in a way that I really haven't let myself do before. It is a struggle, though, to both separate myself from the limited and unhealthy patterns that I've defined myself by in the past, and still retain a connection to friends and family who knew that person. Not to say that I am or will be a like, wildly different person. It's just, it'll be different, and I have not been good at communicating those changes in the past. But here we are. Uh, I'm excited to see what ends up happening. That's all I've got to say for now. I hope this finds you well, and you have a good week from here. Xander, I will see you sometime in the nebulous future.